So this is a walkthrough of one of the lessons in the new Understand Your Physiology collection. Each lesson starts off with a title page to let you know where you are in the whole collection. So in this instance, we're looking at a lesson that's in Part B, which focuses on regulation and control. We're looking at the Nervous System module, and within that collection of lessons, we're looking specifically at synapses. Next up, students are brought to a page that lets them know what this section is all about. So there's a really clear organizational structure that tells them all of the key concepts that they're going to learn about. And all of these bullet points are broken down on separate pages. So it's really clear what the focus of each page is. There's also a special little text box that shows them where this particular section fits within the entire nervous system module. You'll also notice a little notebook in the top right hand corner of the screen that says take notes. This is a space that students can revisit on any page of the lesson in order to jot down notes for their memory or maybe draw down a concept map. So all of their notes are nicely organized into one space. So now let's look at a typical activity page. At the top of each page, there's a blue information box that will kind of tell students what to expect from this page. And then the heart of the Understand Your Physiology collection is these interactive, visual, active learning questions. So students are asked to just have a go and dive into answering these questions. And each question is equipped with instant feedback, so students can instantly check to see if they're correct or incorrect. And if they get the question wrong, that's completely okay. It's actually a powerful thing for learning. They'll pay more attention to the feedback, and then they can redo this lesson, revisit it later on at a space time interval, and eventually it's going to aid in that understanding. It's also quite special that our images are designed to complement each question. So they're really specific. They show individual concepts and students are asked to engage with the image, interpret the image as they answer the question. And in some of our lessons, you'll see a scaffolded series of related images that breaks down a physiological pathway step by step so that students can engage with each stage of the process and come to a greater understanding as a whole. It's also quite nice that the questions are numbered, so students can make a note of any specific questions that they struggled with, and they'll know exactly where to go to revisit them. And at the bottom of the page, there's a link to their review notes, so it reminds them of all of the key concepts they touched on on that page, and it really helps consolidate that learning. At the end of the lesson, there's an overview page, and this asks students to think critically about each of those key concepts, each of the pages they viewed, and to recall the major points that they learned on each of those pages. What were the important components to that area? How do they link together? All of those kind of things. So it's again, it's a spaced learning retrieval practice that helps keep those concepts in students' working memory and helps with their overall understanding of their physiology.